Danny, was it a disappointment come the final whistle? Yeah, it's always disappointing conceding late on, especially when we've created so many chances. We feel like we should have got the second or third and gone on to win comfortably, but then they've gone and scored the last kick of the game virtually. So, yeah, we're disappointed in the changing room, yeah. And as we often ask in reference to the changing room, what was the management saying to you at half time? It was still nil nil then. At half time, we were just saying be patient. Just, you know, gaps were opening. We created a little bit in the first half and then we changed the shape a little bit in the second half and it worked even better. Created even more in the second half and feel like we should have got the second or third, yeah. And there was some confusion about the goal, even with the Scorio clip that they put out. We thought it was Blaine Hudson, so did the people on the balcony watching on. But actually, you got the final touch. Yeah, it's a great save, actually. Blaine's unlucky. It's a really good header. I think he saved it onto the post and it's just gone back out and I've just tackled the guy and it's gone in. So, yeah, one of the best ones. And unfortunately, it wasn't the winning goal because, as we've referenced, Cardiff Met hit a very late equaliser. Yeah, I'm disappointed. You know, we'll have to look back and see where we could have improved on. We don't think it's a free kick in the first place, but they go against you sometimes and we have to deal with it and we haven't done that. So, yeah, we're disappointed. And on a personal level, though, happy with your performance today? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you know, the whole team played well, I think. You know, not as well as we'd like, not at our best, but we've done more than enough to win the game, we feel. And so, yeah. And just 10 games to go and there's still a healthy lead at the top of the table. Yeah, I think other results went our way as well. So I think, you know, no one's closed the gap yet. So I think we just focus on next week when we get the fixtures out. We'll look at that and go again next week and get back to winning ways, hopefully.